Hello everybody, Jeremy here from Photo Junkies Drone Zone. In this video, I am going to review the Muller Super Grind Coffee Grinder. The company's name is actually Muller, or Mueller, probably Mueller, Austria, and it is made in China. But, what isn't? So, the reason I am reviewing this coffee grinder is because I have been using one of these coffee grinders for years and I am unable to get a consistently coarse grind. Um, I can get a very fine grind, powdery fine grind, but if I want it coarse for the French press, uh, the bottom half will be coarse, top half will be fine or vice versa, and I'm left with a cup of mud at the bottom of my coffee cup which, you know, I don't mind, I just don't drink that part anymore. But I wanted to see if I could get a consistently coarse grind from this thing right here. So we're gonna do an experiment. These settings here are for whether you want coarse or grind, and in the front is how many cups. Uh, I'm pretty much gonna ignore how many cups because I'm just gonna fill up a jar uh, with coarse grinds. Um, but not too many so it doesn't go bad before I use it. So let's do the coarse setting and then we're going to do the very fine setting and we're going to compare and see if there really is too much of a difference, which I didn't notice the other day. And I believe I have it set on two cups. So we're going to put a bunch in there. Put this thing back on. Well, I guess that was on, okay. And we have this dial here, turned on 17 on the side. And I'm gonna turn it on and let it rip. And apparently that's enough for two cups. So let's see what we got. All right, that's coarse, and we will compare it to fine in just a second. All right, now I'm gonna turn this to number one, which is the finest setting. There we are, and I'm gonna let it rip. All right, so this is the coarse one. And, you know, if you look carefully, if you look closely, it's a little bit more coarse. And it's, uh, a lot more of it came out. Now this here is the, is the fine, fine setting. Yeah, it's definitely uh, a little finer. So let's put some of that coarse powder in my French press. And this is enough supposedly for two cups. Um, I would say this, for me, this is enough for about half a cup, but I'm gonna make a uh, one cup out of this, and we'll see uh, how it what comes out. All right, supposedly enough for two cups. Well, not my two cups. Does that look like it's enough for two cups? I don't think so. Maybe that's why my coffee always tastes like mud. Tastes like good mud but there's mud on the bottom. All right, four minutes according to Google. That was easy, it has been four minutes. Looks good. All right, I finished the cup of coffee. There is not too much mud left on the bottom, but I usually use a hell of a lot more coffee than that. Coffee was okay. It was uh, pretty fine. Pretty fine for uh, what I would normally put in the French press. And, uh, you know, maybe I've been making coffee wrong this whole time. One thing a lot of people did complain about was the mess it makes down here. It does make a little mess. 
and this container here is, um, let's say the plastic container has a lot of static electricity, so it does make a mess coming out, kind of wants to stick to everything. All right, well that concludes the experiment of this coffee grinder here. Um, I had actually been considering sending it back. I think I am gonna keep it. Um, it did make a good uniform ground, which is what I wanted. The fine uh, setting is really fine. It's like powder. And the coarse is a little less powdery. And you know what? Maybe I've been making coffee wrong all this time. I usually make it a little more coarse and I literally use about five times what this said was enough for two cups. And I use that amount for one cup. If I used as much as I did normally with the old grinder, uh, there would be, it would be like sludge. Um, so maybe it's been me all along. Maybe, maybe I've been using too much with a uh, coarser ground than I should have been. So I'm going to continue experimenting and uh, keep this unit. And by the way, the coffee is probably some of the best coffee I've had in this area, in the Charleston area, and it's from Cooper River. So thank you very much, Cooper River, for your coffee.